Hi guys, I'm Dave and I would like to welcome all of you to Wondershare Recoverit, a fully functional data recovery tool that you can use to recover deleted files from various storage devices. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how to fix the stop code video scheduler internal error in Windows 10. If you've clicked this video, the chances are your computer screen is flashing this very error message along with the blue screen of death. But no need to panic. You can actually implement a few methods to resolve this error on your own. So in this video, we're going to walk you through these methods to resolve the blue screen error. But before that, make sure you press the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any future updates. The video scheduler internal error is basically a stop code that's accompanied by the blue screen of death. As its name implies, it generally gets triggered by a video related problem such as outdated graphics drivers, overclocked graphics card, incompatible security patches, or it could be potentially a virus or some malware that's triggering the error. So now that we're familiar with what causes the error, let's start with the solutions that will help you resolve it. We'll start with a basic solution first. If you've recently installed any third party applications, these might be interfering with the graphics card and causing your blue screen crash. So go ahead and uninstall these recently installed applications and see if this fixes the problem. To uninstall an application, simply open up this PC and click uninstall or change a program. Then select on the apps that you want to remove and click uninstall to complete the process. In case uninstalling these applications doesn't resolve the problem, the next solution is to run the check disk command. This is a Windows utility that scans a hard drive for logical errors and bad sectors and will fix them automatically. If a corrupt hard drive is triggering the error, then check disk should resolve your problem. Inside the Cortana search box, type CMD and then select command prompt and opt for run as administrator. Now type check disk followed by the letter of the hard drive that you want to scan, then forward slash F, forward slash R, forward slash X, and press enter. Check disk will begin scanning the hard drive and will repair any bad sectors that it finds. Once this process completes, restart your system and check if the blue screen error is fixed or not. Now, like check disk, the System File Checker is another Windows utility that you can use to resolve this error in Windows 10. This utility is designed to scan and repair corrupted system files, however, it can also repair damaged registry files. Now to use this again, you will have to use the command prompt. So start by launching the command prompt as administrator, and then in the command prompt window type sfc forward slash scan now and press enter. The system file checker will now scan all of your system files and repair any that it finds as corrupted. Using the DISM command is another quick solution to resolve the video scheduler error. DISM or Deployment Image Servicing and Management is another built-in Windows utility. This one repairs corrupt system image files within Windows. So if your system has any damaged system image files, DISM will repair them and you shouldn't encounter the blue screen error. To run the DISM command, again, launch the command prompt as administrator and then type DISM forward slash online forward slash clean up dash image forward slash restore health and hit enter. Now, wait a few minutes and let DISM repair any corrupt system image files that it finds. After the process completes, see if the blue screen error is fixed or not. Now, in case you're still seeing the stop error code, even after performing all of the previous solutions, your last option would be to update your graphics driver. Since outdated display drivers are one of the major contributing factors that cause the video scheduler errors, updating them to the latest version will most likely fix your problem immediately. Start by pressing the Windows and X key on your keyboard and then select Device Manager from the list. Here, expand the Display Drivers option and then right click on your primary display driver. Click Update Driver Software and then tap Search for Drivers automatically to download the latest version of the display drivers. 
After these drivers have successfully installed, perform a quick restart and you should be able to access your system without seeing the BSOD error. So that is how you can resolve the stop code video scheduler internal error in Windows 10. Now, since this error causes unexpected crashes, many users actually end up losing their unsaved data. If you're dealing with data loss, you can use our data recovery tool to get everything back. Wondershare Recover It will perform a complete scan of your hard drive and retrieve all files within minutes. The tool supports over 100 different file formats, which means you will be able to recover everything without any hassle. So let me quickly walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure for recovering deleted files using Wondershare Recover It. Install Recover It on your system and launch the software to get started. On the home screen, select hard drives and locations from the left menu bar and then select the location from where the files were lost. Recover It will start scanning this location and fetch all deleted files. This process can take a few minutes though, depending on the size of your hard drive. After the process has completed, select the files that you want to restore and click Recover to restore them back to your system. On a side note, if your computer has crashed and it can't be opened normally, you can actually use Recover It to create bootable media and then recover data. Details for this can be found in a step-by-step -step guide on the official Recover It website, which is recoverit.wondershare.com forward slash guide. So that is everything that you need to know about fixing the stop code video scheduler internal error in Windows 10. If you were able to resolve the blue screen error, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.